like a space station destroyed in gravity. It's an alternate universe, so you can't take it too seriously. They did it very realistically, and the, the entire space station exterior shots are just a, amazingly impressive. It looks very much like I would have imagined it would have looked had I been able to back off a few hundred yards and, and take a look at the station. So, yeah, it's sort of sad in the movie that um, lots of bad things happen. You know, sort of at the end of the movie, nobody's left in space. Uh, there's no basis there anymore. But uh, that supports the, the thrills and the, the excitement of the story. And it's just a, just a plot element that you just can buy into. And at the beginning of the film, there's this one really beautiful shot before everything sort of gets destroyed. Um, where you can, you're can you sort of looking over at the Earth. And I, I just am wondering, did, did that bring you back at all to maybe being in space, or can anything do that? No, the visuals are really terrific in this film. Uh, the depictions of the Earth and the geography below. Uh, I was telling my wife, look, there's the Nile Valley, you know, there's the, the, the Sinai Peninsula. So it's very recognizable, very well done. I don't know how they did it, but obviously they've done a great job researching what the views from space are like. They must have used footage from NASA and tried to replicate that in, in their computers. Um, it does take you back. And the scenes of this movie are so beautiful and sometimes very peaceful that it does remind me of some of the dreams I've had or some of the experiences I've had floating, looking out the window at night on the dark side of the planet. So it's very evocative of the real space experience. And also, sort of on the flip side of that, was did it capture any of the fear or nervousness that I guess most people in the audience would be feeling watching the events. Well, while I watched the movie, I was certainly anxious and nervous too. And in space, I was often anxious, uh, nervous about how the flight was going, whether I was going to be able to do a good job, whether, whether I was keeping up with the time schedule, and whether I was technically doing a good job. So an astronaut does have those same kinds of ang ang anxious feelings. It's a lot, lot like stage fright. I, that's the closest analogy I can. Now, I haven't had any moments of sheer terror in space, but we know that those moments are possible, and we train to avoid those moments at almost any cost. We train relentlessly for months to make sure that you can deal with a depressurization or a toxic gas bill or a fire up in orbit, because those are the things that th the worst case could really do you in. Dot com.